package just arrived and here's a comparison I bet you guys didn't think was coming. We got some fin trail gear. Everybody knows I'm a huge fan of the old Gator Waders and fin trails reached out to me quite a few times over the past couple years. A couple of the boys are already rocking their gear. Nos Boss has been rocking it for about a year now. Colin uh, XM Army, he's had his gear for Oh, I'd say around the same amount of time, and uh, they recommended I give her a try as well. So when Fintrail contacted me, I said I would uh, entertain the idea of doing a bit of a comparison. You know what I'm saying? I was pretty impressed when I mentioned to the boys that we'd be interested in maybe comparing it against the Gator Weary gear. They uh, jumped at the opportunity, had this stuff thrown in a box and shipped out to me. And I'd say it was about two weeks to the door, which is pretty impressive. I was quite surprised. It's kind of fitting because I just ordered a new bog hoodie. Figured we'd get some fresh colors and start a comparison fresh. So a new bog hoodie. My insulated gators are relatively fresh and new. So I'm thinking they're probably going to be the best to compare with the season coming. So we'll run them both right through the winter too. These guys kind of believe in a layering method. So they've also sent um, an under layer system. Then you've got your waiter. overcoat you actually use a boot over top obviously gonna be quite durable and water friendly and I've seen it in action so I know that uh, it is good quality gear But again, so is the Gator Waiter gear. Now they both attack things in two different ways, right? The gator gear is easy to get into and out of. Um, and obviously with a layering system like this, it's gonna take a little more effort by layering up. And also maybe when you're stripping down as well, right? So I guess it'll be uh, it'll be kind of neat to see. We'll give her a try. Both leaders in the mud, uh, mud apparel industry here for ATVers and UTVers for sure. See this stuff everywhere. Same with Gator Waiters. It's crazy, but uh, Awesome. That is actually really nice. Look at that. I bought one of those actually for the sea dew This is a pouch to keep your phone and uh, your wallet dry, you know, and you wear it around your neck. That's awesome. That is actually really cool that they throw that in there. Very cool. And a patch kit. You also will get this with your Gator gear. Just like the Gator waiters, they got themselves a nice front pouch. A decent zipper, nice and girthy, so it should uh, allow mud to at least move freely through it and then they've got an air pouch with a bit more of a waterproof type zipper which is kind of nice with a little bit of a tether point too which you could also use for that uh that little um lanyard for your cell phone and wallet that they give you their attention to detail seems to be quite good which you would want to hope and expect for their price point because i do believe a suit like this is going to run you probably over a grand canadian this was sponsored for the application of comparing and testing it against my gator gear as I told them I would and uh, they were quite interested in seeing that so that's what we're doing man. and uh, actually yeah that's super lightweight I mean uh, gator boots are pretty light in their swamp series but in their insulated series that I'll be comparing to I'm definitely going to give the advantage here for the weight factor yeah. zipper works well you got double flaps to try to keep your zip. Well, that's pretty slick, actually. That's going to definitely help. And what, you got a magnet system? And then you can just cinch it up and down here. Bring your coat in a little bit. You know what? They've outdone themselves by sending all of this. So, for a comparison, hats off to you, boys. Cheers. We'll test her out. Oh, we got uh, some access pockets here. Zipper's really tucked up in there. Try to keep it again free as possible from muck. Right on. Feels pretty good. Fits pretty good actually, which I guess you should. They've measured everything and you sent them off all your measurements and uh, I'm guessing that definitely cuts down on the returns. Oh, now that's good right there. That's a huge plus is that the zipper detaches from the coat because when we're out there pounding in, in the skag and in the mud, it comes raining down on you. It actually fills your hood. And, if you have a hood on, it, it's, it's a hindrance. It just fills up and it's harder to clean when you get back. I expect the fit trail is going to do just great though. I'm a stranger to wearing it, but I'm not a stranger to it, you know. Actually, I think I'm pretty much the last YouTuber on YouTube that hasn't basically tried new gear. You got Austin Cruiser, 
You got NOS ATVs, you got XM Army, uh, Swamp Ass is rocking Fin Trail. Um, who else, you know? Uh, I believe Blackie, um, Can Am XTP, uh, Rob Farrow, I might already mentioned him, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, the list goes on and on and on. Yeah, these are durable, I've already got a season in on them. They're still pretty much in brand new shape. I don't expect to be going through these anytime soon. They should give me a couple a couple uh, worry-free seasons at the very least. And the bog hoodie, they've made some improvements on it. Uh, with this one, I've noticed the 2.0, and that's ditching the fleece on the inside of the arms and going with this material here, which is obviously going to be a lot easier to get your arms in and out. you got the neoprene cuff on these as well. You guys are pretty familiar with this stuff. I've had it for a long time. I mean, this was on the old too, so you can cinch that right down if you want and get a good seal. And it works pretty good too. I mean, if you stick your hands under the water and leave them there for a while, it'll seep its way up. But otherwise, you can do a quick splash dunk, whatever, and you're still going to be dry. They work good. Fitment's great. Very snug, very warm, very comfortable. Like I said, I could just take a nap right now. Oh, the story of a YouTuber's life. We got all kinds of malfunctions, you know. I noticed I was trying to edit up the video here on uh, our Gator Wear and uh, Fin Trail gear and of course we've got a gopro 5 that likes to drop audio whenever it feels like it and a gopro 8 that started to fast forward clips with no audio so it's nice when you get home after all your work and you know you start uploading your videos and realize well that one's garbage that one's no good well i talked a lot in that one that was important information but she's garbage so you know what we didn't get then is um a closer look at the actual waders that i'm using so um we'll take a closer look at my uh Insulated series 2.0s. These are a great waiter. But yeah, we didn't get a very good look at them here closely, anyways. And uh, check out the construction and design of them. So, what I'll do is I'll hang them up and we'll take a peek. These are the gloves I used, boys, and they're pretty kick ass, offered by Gator Waders. Water resistant, um, not 110% waterproof. You can throw your arms under, seal these up good, and, uh, and you'll be all right. So, it's no problem dunking until you get over this and then it'll seep a bit but uh these have been great through the winter through the rain the water all of it they've done a great job i love these gloves gloves are one of those things it's hard to find something that's perfect for the type of crap we're doing we're always having our hands under so i mean but i love these gloves uh I rock these throughout the fall and the winter they've been awesome uh that set there is my young lads and that's my set and uh but yeah so you know a lot of folks probably asking why i'm not comparing really the uh this is a light grade swamp series jacket here and it's quite a bit cheaper than the bog hoodie it's got a nice waterproof zipper on it as you can see Just pull it up like that and they work really good um they actually put up these pockets here which are magnet released and they are pretty strong magnets let's just take a second there there we go as you can see just like that um, lightweight it's got a neoprene cuff too so you can seal that up tight and it'll keep the water from going up your arm there when you're throwing your arms under it's got some nice design to it quite a bit cheaper so here in Canada this part of Ontario where I ride uh, most of our season is um, cold uh, if you guys are in a summer climate you may want to compare or look at getting the lighter grade swamp series um, and they also have the waders as well so this is my old bog hoodie right here boys and i figured i might as well take a peek at it just to show you what kind of wear you're going to get on them this is like three years old i believe two or three years old i've um, been through at least two winters and as you can see it's starting to fade a little bit um, the fleece they used in in this generation is a little bit different than the the one i'm rocking now the 2.0 this is a little bit softer and a little light more lightweight i do believe so um, I still got the old drink pouch there so you can put your beverage right here, which is nice. Um, I like that. But yeah, this, this bog hoodie's held up great. There's uh, stitching, it's all good, you know. Um, zipper still works great, still waterproof. Um, it's been great. It's just, uh, it's faded a little bit, the UV. Uh, if I take it out into the sun, you might be able to tell a little more. Here in the shade, it's not quite as bad. But uh, I don't know if that's showing up or not for you folks. But it's got a little fade on. It's not quite as dark as it used to be. But nevertheless, still kick ass, works great, and it served me very well. So that's what you can expect to see after uh, some years of wear. Very nice though, held up great. Very nice. So yeah, that's a look at the lightweight Swamp Series. Uh, my bog hoodie that I've been rocking for a couple years now. 
still working good. These are my Young Lads waders. They've been put through the ringer. So this is your uninsulated Swamp Series wader. And they're great. They hold up well. I think you're going to definitely get a couple seasons of, of problem-free use, you know. Um, so they've got a front pouch with a couple magnets. And then they put an inner pouch with uh, Velcro on this, this one here. So that's kind of where you're going to keep your safe and securables right in there um there is a belt i'm not sure where it is oh here it's just not connected so it's got a belt also to give it more of a fitted feel um they also include these front pockets with a little drain hole so i usually use those in uh, the summer for gloves after i've destroyed them they'll go in there and uh take them home from there but these waders over the years i found that um this material here sometimes starts to fade off like just the outer layer it's real thin and sheen um, if you leave them out too much, these ones are holding up great. Uh, right here you can see as it's starting to peel just a bit at the back. Now they'll still be waterproof. You're just going to lose this little fabric layer. Um, so no worries. You can just tear that right off and you're still good to go. Um, but yeah, they're great waders. Very lightweight. Um, and here's my insulated that I'll be wearing and I always wear for the most part. And it's got itself a nice fleece lined pocket up top in the front and it's magnet as well. Looks very nice, works very good. And all Gator waders come with that uh, inner pouch. This one has a zipper on it, works well. Not a waterproof zipper because if you get water inside your waders, well, you're pretty much already screwed. So that's not uh, something obviously they're worried about. Um, got yourself a nice little belt. This one's embroidered, the 2.0 series. And uh, you got yourself a hand warming spot back here with some fleece inside there, which is very nice, kind of comes in handy. Um, so we'll throw that back in there. Like I said, your nice belt for fitment. And then they've just completely upgraded and they've got double layering here. Some real solid stitching. Never had an issue with any of the stitching on any of the products. Um, and I've not seen any of the boys ever have an issue with the fin trail stitching as well. So I'm not even going to get into that stuff. It's all very durable. Um, the boots, extremely warm. As you can see, 1000 insulate insulation so these are incredibly upgraded from the old waders and I'll show you why um, way more aggressive there's a lot more weight in the boot because there's more material there especially when it comes to the bottom I mean that just says mud train doesn't it right there boys so pretty kick-ass they're holding up good I've had these out for a whole season now and they still look basically brand new and have worked great so um, when it first started wearing the gator waders there wasn't an off-road lineup of this type of material all they had was their um uh neoprene waders and uh, i've never been a big fan of the tight fitting neoprene you just you sweat i used to get soaked in my waders um drenched from the inside out rather than than worrying about keeping dry so um when i looked at the gator waiter lineups before they started bringing out this breathable material they already had it available in their hunt series waders now the hunt series waders obviously i recognize were not designed for atv use and and our aggressive foot pegs and such because the boots were much lighter weight these things are my favorite waders these are just ridiculously awesome you got your big pouch up front you've got shells here You've got your fleece inlined hand warmers. You've got these neoprene at the sides. An overlayer here. This is what I really liked the most about these is they gave them a really nice look. Uh, you didn't look like you were wearing waders because they went with this uh, over boot over design here with this flap. So this is just another layer. Um, obviously they got draining here, which comes in handy, but uh, the boots were a lot softer, right? So I, I still have these because I love them and I want to fix them, um, but we did wreck them because of our pegs we actually pulled a hole right there boys uh, the steel shank came sliding out of those so i think that's some of the reason that you've seen such a, a large upgrade in the boots as far as uh, thickness quality durability but yeah these were my first set of insulated waders so rock those for a couple seasons love them absolutely love them miss them probably fix them put them back into action someday so that's my gator waiter lineup boys right there like i said i'd compare for some of you guys in the south warmer climate you're probably going to want to look at going with this combo here the uninsulated uh, you can get matching colors and stuff like that but um, for us down here in the colder climate the insulated gear is rocked for the majority of the season so that's what I'm kind of looking at using because it's that time of the year and obviously I'm not going to freeze my ass off for comparisons I actually believe that the fin trail is uh, you know with enough layers provided underneath in their layering system that we could probably get it pretty pretty close to warm enough for the winter at least I'm going to try and uh, that'll be some of the feedback we get right so 
Um, the insulated gear, yeah, I can already speak for it. It's good. It'll get you through the winter months, the coldest seasons. But uh, yeah, tons more too. So this is the new bog hoodie, the 2.0. Very nice. And they've got all kinds of other gear too. I've got insulated pants on I happen to have on right now. You know, got the old cap, rocking the gear for, for years now. Most of it's bought and paid for, boys. Some of it was sponsored to us and uh, in thanks to uh, raising awareness of the brand. And uh, we really appreciate that. Shout out to Justin Waller and all his crew at Gator Waiters. You guys are friggin' awesome. Um, but yeah, all kinds of gear to choose from. And, and Fit Trail as well. I mean, there are other uh, options on the website. You can find cheaper waiters. They do uh, a boot included design and uh they have some cheaper waiters as well the setup they sent me i do believe is uh maybe one of their higher end sets it seems to be that way the quality is is, is top notch but yeah pretty kick-ass swamp series 2.0 insulated swamp series uninsulated jacket you got your swamp series bog hoodie insulated swamp series uninsulated waiters and this is an old pair of hunt series that I just can't bear to throw away. I mean, I gotta fix that, that, that I tried. I took a couple stabs at it, you can see, and uh, it ended up getting me in the foot, but uh, I just can't throw them out. So all in all, boys, it's, uh, you know, we've had a couple adventures in on the fin trail gear now, and I can honestly uh, give a bit of feedback, honest opinion on, uh, you know, my first impressions of wearing it after a couple and I mean hardcore adventures, uh, we got in there. We did not waste any time putting it through the worst of it, but um, it's more of a what gear's right for you, not what's better. I'm, there's lots of options on both websites like I showed you there before. You can get uninsulated or insulated from Gator Waders or you can uh, do vice versa with uh, Fin Trail. You don't have to get the, the boot over the neoprene sock if you don't want, you can get a boot attached design. There are cheaper uh, gear on the site to choose from. So it's more about, you know, really what's what's right for you. And uh, they're both incredibly durable and made with high quality. The two major differences that I see in the two brands or in the gear that I'm wearing is that the Gator Waiter brand seems to have a bit more of a relaxed fit and feel to it. So more of a casual, almost a dual purpose as far as the bog hoodie. Obviously the waders are going to be meant for working in the swamp and, and, and hunting and, and, and just that nature. But the texture of the bog hoodie and even their Swamp Series uninsulated jackets is very soft, something that could be worn uh, out and about in your everyday use. So a bit more of a, a multi-purpose there, as well as what I've noticed with the fin trail is because of its, its really um, tailored fit, the way they measure everything, it just gives you a level of mobility you feel that just makes you feel agile. And I think that it's, more geared to the type of rider that's really working himself uh, through those holes or is really putting a lot of body work and, and uh, physical exertion out there. Um, aggressive, really aggressive. Um, not to say you can't ride aggressive with the Gator Gear, because you can, but it just has more of a, a relaxed feel. I mean, look, I can put my beer in here, you know, if we're hanging out at the mud park, walking around and chilling with my hands, just chilling, you know, soft, everything feels very soft, right? Whereas the Fin Trail Gear is uh, very fitted, very tight, uh, looks very stylized too as well. Um, but it's more of a one purpose, obviously, it's out there getting dirty, getting, uh, you know, camping, using the gear um, um, full, full on. So that's the largest difference in the gear, the feel of it, I guess. So if you're a relaxed kind of guy that likes to sit back on your wheeler, not really work at it a lot, maybe you're just a larger person and you don't like bending down to touch your toes. I don't know, man, but I'm gonna definitely highly recommend the Gator Waiter gear, I think more, because it's it's kind of a, a relaxed, chill back. And uh, I mean, it's extreme too. If you want to hit her and give her, it'll definitely work that way. Um, working the bike in the hole, jumping in the slop, pulling your feet around. Definitely the fin trail did feel a little bit lighter and tighter fitted feeling, you know? I mean, it's not uncommon in the big slop of it to uh, to pull your foot out of your wader if you're really sucked in there, you know? So actually, I mean, I've heard the same with the fin trail boots. It happens, but I mean, more so I think you get that feeling of suction and being bogged down in a big heavy wader with a, with a large, heavy, robust boot like the uh, 2.0 insulated, right? But again, I mean, some people like that uh, maneuverability within the uh, the gear. So um, like I said, it's just a, a more relaxed feel. So um, yeah, that's the biggest difference I've really noticed uh between the two brands but yeah man i love it i'm not switching gear 
you know, we decided to do this video because it's, it's, it's a question I've had hundreds of times over the years is, uh, you know, should I get Gator Waiter? Should I get Fin Trail? And it's like, well, you know what? I've never rocked Fin Trail, so I can't really give you any info on that. But here's why I love Gator Waiters, you know? So, of course, I'm going to tell people what I love about them. But now that we've had a chance to try out the Fin Trail, now we'll be able to give people honest feedback on that too. So, uh, the whole idea of doing this video was more about just giving more information to you guys, hoping that we could help make your decision um, that much easier and um, if you're still not yet convinced that either of this gear is right for you we'll go back and check out we got hundreds of videos between NAS ATVs and and ATV you can find fin trail gear being abused over the years and gator waders being put through the worst of it so um, hopefully that will help you uh, determine what's right for you as well um, and if not well we've got more to come right so I'm gonna be rocking the fin trail gear on and off um, with the uh, Gator Waiter gear back and forth in succession uh, throughout the, the worst months that are about to come. Um, the end of fall, tail end of fall, and then winter and spring. So we're gonna throw the worst we have at her. We've already started and I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, stay tuned for more feedback as uh, we'll keep uh, filling you with input. Right on, cheers, have a good one. I don't think you can go wrong either way. It's what's best for you and uh, what's in your price range. You know, these are basically pretty close. Yeah, now I want to go for a ride. I'll wait for the morning. More of a what's right for you video. It's pretty hard to find anything negative to say about either of the products. Uncomfortable as I would have thought because of the access material, like I said, of the uh, nylon. That's the material.